Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I found a tower site in El Paso for T-Mobile that is running band two at 15 megahertz, band 12 at five and band four at 20. So we're gonna go ahead and do a speed test really quickly. And as you can see, it is two o'clock in the afternoon, peak times. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we get here. So this must be a really congested area if they already have this opened up to uh, 15 megahertz of band two. So that means they're on, the, on this tower, they're pretty much almost tapped out. That means they have five megahertz left to add to uh, band two. And, and I think that'll probably have to be refarmed. So we're gonna run another one. And as you can see, I mean, speeds were okay. But for that tower being almost tapped out on a spectrum, it's not all that great, in my opinion. So that is letting you know that this market has a lot, a lot, a lot of T-Mobile customers. So I just wanted to report this to you guys that they are starting to open up wideband LTE on band two. They only have wideband LTE on band two in certain markets that they can open it up to 20. They consider any, uh, T-Mobile considers anything uh, above 15 uh, <clears throat> wideband. So 15 or 20 is considered wideband for T-Mobile. So they, they did that here on that tower site. So that's that's pretty crazy. So that's definitely very good to know. Okay, this speed test was a lot faster. Let's run it one more time. So speed test is definitely good. So as you can see, they are doing a lot of work in this market. We got small sales coming, sector splits. So they're not done yet. But on certain sites, they get they're they're tapping out on spectrum. So I think all they can add on that is is band 66. So definitely stay tuned as I'm going around town doing more speed tests and uh, trying to discover new technology and um, additional bandwidth so definitely stay tuned for that this is tyrone with tech life i'll see you in the next video peace